We have educators today with us from all over Australia. We have educators from New Zealand. We have educators from Israel, from the United States, and from Canada. This really is a coming together of some incredible minds across the Jewish world, and we are so, so incredibly privileged to be hosting you here at Scopus. Of course, it's also, and you'll hear a little bit more about this, but our incredible friend, Miriam Munns, this is her final conference. Not to attend, but her final conference to listen to all of our wishes and dreams and see them actually turn into reality is something quite special. She has brought something incredible to this Melbourne Jewish community, to all of our communities, and I thank her for that very, very much. Now, my name is Dan Strait. I get to play host to you today and tomorrow, and I, I thank you for that as the principal of Mount Scopus. Um, there is a, a legacy here, a, a legacy of 75 years, at least at this school, of bringing incredible Jewish education to young Jewish Australians. Something that <coughs> many of us in this room do on a daily basis, and it's quite special. But there's a realisation that we all had this year. For me, that realisation was that line in the Pesach Haggadah, the Chodov Ador. Up until now, that had always been... It was a generalization. It was, there'll be many generations of comfortable, good, integrated life in our communities. And maybe every so often there would be some tragedy. There would be something we would need to deal with. We would need to deal with serious anti-Semitism maybe once, you know, every couple of hundred years. But we've all had a realization. We don't, we, we don't need to be reminded of this, but we've had that realization. So those words are real. Those words were, were apt. The challenge for us as Jewish educators is we are now the ones that are looked to. In an age where truthful justice, information, sources that we can believe in are not so easily accessible. Where we live in an information age where information cannot necessarily always be trusted it's Jewish studies educators, it's Ivrit teachers, it's our Jewish schools that provide that source of honest, truthful information for our children to make decisions about who they're going to be. We have a huge responsibility on our shoulders and I welcome you to this conference to delve in to that exact question. I don't think a group of Jewish educators for as long as I can remember have ever have ever, ever been burdened with that level of responsibility. And I thank each and every one of you for being here to join together, to meet and to answer this huge burden which has been placed upon us. Toda, thank you and congratulations for being here. Well done. Now it's my great privilege to introduce the President of the Zionist Federation of Australia, Jeremy Liebler, to come and address you now. Thank you very much and have a wonderful time here.